Hello there and welcome in a second lesson where you're going to learn Dutch pronunciation. And in this lesson we are going to see the O and the O. So when you see it written with one O, you would usually say uh, and pronounce it as O. And if you see two O's, you will pronounce it as O. So that's the short O and the long O. So let's make a few exercises on, on the short O. So say after me. Zot. Op. Klop. Rot. Mond. All right, and let's do a series of O's now, long O. So that's voor, door, zoon, rood. Boot. So remember that when you see two O's, it will always be long. Uh, this matters because uh, it can change the um, these, uh, the meaning of the word. For example, in the word zon, zon means sun. And a zone means sun, so you don't want your sun to be the sun, right? Right, so that's zon and zone. And then there's another one, kop and koop. Kop is a head and koop is a buy, the imperative of buying. So that's kop and koop. Good. So when you're seeing a single O, uh, Dutch sometimes gets complicated, the O can be long too. For example, in short words where the O is at the end of the word, as in zo and vlo. However, there aren't that many words like this. Uh, but there are many, many words that follow the following rule. So when you see a single O and then a consonant and then um, another um, letter like E or I, it's the E sound actually, uh, then we're going to pronounce it as a long O. And this is typically for verbs, and you see one there, roken. Well, th this is this is typically, and also for the plural, uh, if you say uh, um, a zone, uh, one zone, and then zonen, you would typically have a single O, and then one N, uh, one uh, consonant, and then uh, an E, pronounced as an E, and then N, and then you know, ah, okay, it's a long O. So let's uh, repeat after me a few examples. Groter. Roken. Over. Nodig. Boven. So you see there, every single time, single O, single consonant, and then the E sound. And it can be an E and it can be an I as well, as you see. However, uh, when the consonant in between the two is doubled, as you can see there, then uh, the O will be an O, as in uh, grotten. Rocken, sokken, 
zonnen. All right, so don't forget, uh, there's two, uh, there are two uh, consonants there, means the O is short. And this matters, again, because, uh, for example, roken is not the same as rocken, so the pronunciation matters. Uh, roken means to smoke, and rocken means skirt, so that's a plural of rock. So, uh, and the same goes for zonen, suns, and zonen, to sunbath sunbathing. So let's pronounce after me. Roken and rocken. Zonen and zonen. All right. So Dutch wouldn't be Dutch if there weren't any exceptions. There are many exceptions, of course. Here's two of them. Uh, this voodoo comes from English, and we're going to just pronounce it as an English, voodoo. So voodoo. And the second one is quite an exception, avond. You don't pronounce it as an O, as an o or an O, neither a short or a long one. No, it's avond. All right, so these are two exceptions. Let's make some exercises. Try to read the following words. So the first one is rond. Try to read the second one. Plooien. Botten. Rode. Worden. All right, so let's have another series here. Worden. Kort. Wonen. Portret. Noorden. All right, so let's take a few sentences now. These are the most interesting ah, tongue twisters. So try to read the sentence and then I'll read it again twice for you. All right, so that's we lopen rondom de toren. Let's read it again. We lopen rondom de toren. All right, next one doesn't make much sense, but there's a lot of O's in there. So give it a try. Right, that's met volle potten komen de noren nooit. So let's read that again. Met volle potten komen de noren nooit. All right, so uh, the final sentence, give it a try. Here 
good. So that's Joris woonde daar voor de korte ritten. Repeat. So again, Joris woonde daar voor de korte ritten. Alright, don't forget you can subscribe to get more of these videos.